What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a mysterious task that has been appearing towards several players. This task is believed to have been created and added into the game of Among Us by Sairi Sorrel, who is one of the biggest hackers in the game. I actually managed to encounter the secret task and it appeared in my game and you won't believe what happened next, so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button, which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on, and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's go over this mysterious task in Among Us. So I'm sure that you have heard about Sairi Soro who is one of the biggest hackers in Among Us. And if you didn't know but recently they ended up banning his name in the game. If you're a little confused on what I just said if you were to type in your name as Sairi Soro it would not let you enter any servers. They also did something very similar to Eris Lores by also banning his name. And if you don't believe me, you can go check it out yourself. So recently when I was playing Among Us, I managed to encounter Sairi Soro, even though his name was banned. And you will not believe what ended up happening next. He actually gave me access to this secret task. And I'm here to tell you the full story. It was a regular day and I was playing some Among Us and I started up my own room. I usually never do this just because it's easier to get into a match whenever I join some random crewmates. But this story was a lot different. I saw that Sairi Sora was in my game. And as I mentioned earlier, his username has been banned from all servers. So him having this username should be impossible. I was looking at his skin and color and this must be Sairi Sorrel. Cause no one else uses the same username as him and has the same color. I opened up the chat and asked him a question. I thought your user was banned. He was taking a while to respond so I typed in hello. But he ended up leaving the lobby. So in order to prevent him from joining again, I set my room to private, but he ended up joining. I then saw that someone sent a message in the chat which must be him, and he was promoting his hacks. I then asked him, how did you join my lobby if it was private? And I know that there is a feature that lets you rejoin a lobby, but Sairi Sora usually never rejoins, since he's just a computer. At least that's what we think. He responded to me with the same hack message that he always sends. So then I told him, the game is getting boring but I will not download your hacks. Maybe that'll get his attention. He ended up sending me his hacks once again. And he added an additional comment that I did not expect. He said, we will see. I wanted to get him angry so I said, you know what, I'm not scared of you. And he responded with a smiley face. I ended up banning him after that message just because I didn't want to give him any more satisfaction. But my encounter with Sairi Soro doesn't end there. So after that encounter with Sairi Soro, I was unable to join a public lobby. So I ended up joining a match of free play. When I spawned into the game of free play, the reactor was melting down. I was unsure if this was just a glitch, so I made my way over to the reactor to attempt to fix it. When I arrived at the reactor, I was trying to fix it, but I was unable to do anything since I was the only player in the match, aside from the dummies. So after that incident, I was really curious to see if there was any other player in my match of free play. So I looked in every corner of the map to see if I could spot anything suspicious. But for now, I saw nothing. I was looking at the right side of the map and I realized that I haven't even checked the left side. I checked in medbay and nothing strange has happened. So I made my way over to security and that is when I saw a dead body. I was really confused because how could there be a dead body if I was the only player in the match? I don't think I'm alone. I reported Pink's body to hopefully see a new player in my lobby. But it was just a bunch of dummies. The dummies ended up voting for green and he got ejected. And I really don't understand that process because they're not even moving. When I spawned in, I wanted to look around the map to find any dead crewmates. While I was checking the admin table, I didn't even notice that the lights were off. I was just paying attention to the crewmates on the map. So I went to go turn on the lights. After I have turned on the lights, I looked around the entire map once again. And when I walked into navigation, I saw Yellow's dead body. I reported it. And in the meeting, there was no new player once again. Nobody was ejected this time, but wanted to stay in the match. When I spun back into the lobby, I wanted to once again make another round around the map to hopefully spot another dead crewmate. 
and solve this mystery. While I was on the left side of the map once again, I made my way over to Upper Engine, and that is when I saw Black's dead body on the ground. I was really confused on who was killing all of these crewmates, because when I was in the admin table, I saw nobody moving. So this must be some sort of hacker. The dummies ended up voting me out, which I found really strange since I wasn't the one doing the killing. I was now a ghost and I was looking around the map and I could see the ghost of the dead crewmates, which I found quite sad. But as I was looking, I saw that orange was still alive. And orange was the color that I had when I was talking with Sairi Soro. So that's something that I need to keep in mind. I left the map of scale and I made my way over to Mira HQ. Because I have had some strange events take place on this map. I spawned into the match and nothing strange has happened just yet. Nothing was sabotaged and the first thing that came to mind was to check the crewmates and what I was about to witness was something so strange. I checked the balcony and I saw Pink's dead body. I wonder who killed this crewmate since I just spawned into the match. Could this be the same person that killed the crewmates on the map of scale? I was afraid of reporting the dead body because I was afraid of getting voted out. I left the balcony and I wanted to go check the other locations that had dummies just to see if they were still alive. I walked into office and I could spot no crewmates. By the moment that I checked admin, I saw Black's dead body. I once again did not report the body because I wanted to check the other locations. Maybe all the dummies are dead. I left admin and I walked into a greenhouse and I saw Yellow's body. So whoever this player is, has something against the dummies. I made my way over to the reactor, and before I could enter I saw Blue's body. So I entered decontamination, and walked into the reactor room. While I was in a reactor I heard a glass break. This noise must be coming from the laboratory. When I walked into the laboratory the lights were off and I could see the orange dummy just standing there. Before I could question why the orange dummy was still alive, I saw Sairi Sora above the vent. I could hardly see him due to the room being very dark. And that is when my game started to lag. But my internet was fine so it must be Sairi Soro doing this. After a few minutes, Sairi Soro ended up vanishing and the room was no longer dark. So then I came up with an idea. I should go to the table and become the imposter. And I'm gonna try to eliminate the orange crewmate. Because for some reason, Sairi Soro is keeping him alive. So I opened up the computer and I saw a brand new task that I have never seen before. I was really hesitant to click this brand new task, but I was really curious so I clicked on it anyways. My screen randomly shut off and it displayed a random image of Sairi Soro. If you would like me to continue my encounter with Sairi Soro, the biggest hacker in all of Among Us, let's see if we can get this video to 20,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on. And make sure that you check out one of these Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.